here for day two. Just about all set up, ready for another exciting day. People are still moving in, people unpacking. But here at Murph's Car Town, we're all ready to rock and roll. Got our dollar bins, dime bin. Take the whole box for 20 bucks, guys. Whole box, 20 bucks, could be yours. Box included, the box alone is $7. Rotated the cards a little bit. We still got a couple stacks of Pokemon here. All of this is Pokemon, a couple sports cards at the top and the bottom. This is all graded Pokemon, except for the few cards up there since we ran out of slabs. We will be buying today, again, making those deals all day. Still a ton of deals on the sealed stuff. New Pokemon already discounted. The new Baseball Blasters already discounted. Goodwin Champs, UFC, Opeachy, all this stuff that just came out very recently is already discounted. Hopefully we can sell some Lorcana. We didn't sell any Lorcana yesterday, which I was a little surprised about. Hopefully we can do that today. And the Primal Clash Booster is also available. If it doesn't sell here, then that's okay, but I figured it'd be a great place to bring it, being a, a predominantly big Pokemon show. All set up, ready to rock and roll, about to make the social media post for the show. Very excited to get at it today. Hopefully buying, selling, and trading all day. So I'm taking this time now to go through some cards ahead of the start of the show because you know, people are still coming in. No, no one's here yet besides vendors. So it's just an exciting time to just have a few moments of peace and quiet before the storm. But that's why I like to set up early, get the table all situated, so I'm able to, to do stuff like this before all my attention gets on to, you know, selling at the table. What's your best offer? I'm not the best at negotiating, so if it's if first I show? Like this is huh? this your first show? Yeah, first show. Welcome. Thank you. So I'm glad you said that because if you were just like, shoot me an offer and this is like your Dutton show, I'll be like five bucks. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. No, it's no, just like, you no, gotta no, come exactly. to the table. Exactly. So having the honesty of it being your first show, it makes it much, much easier. How is there no like, I don't that cop was so hard to find in that one. I Did you actually find one or no? I found a I found a limited, but that's not the same. And then an aspiring out of 35 just did a little bit more. Yeah. Like the really the only two that I'm really worried about is probably those two. Those two? Okay. Yeah. I, like in terms of price wise, like all of these yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously have value, but they're not gonna have yeah, like gonna premier crazy. value. Yeah. yeah. Like I so I have a shop in Rhode Island, so like I for some reason have a hard time selling Jalen Green. For real? Why? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. One of the best players, probably the best player out of the class. Yeah, you know. exactly. But when I'm looking at an RPA that's numbered, and you know, if I can get it for a decent, you know, price, yeah, be foolish to to not look at it. 100%. I look up the Jaron Jacks. Seem pretty easy to work with. All right, so different one, um, similar set out of that was one of 75 to 390. This is not. Uh, one, I'm sorry, no, this one. Sorry. Uh, similar set, one of, uh, what did I say, 75 did like 390. Okay. But an out of 35 of a similar set also did like 420. Okay. So, like me personally, I'm probably going to go to the shop and tag it at four. So obviously okay. I'd have to probably get it for less. Uh, 350 for it? Uh, well, let, let me work the numbers okay. in first and then, and then I'll kind of... Yeah, yeah, I'm all set. Oh, but the last one, you know, one did $40. Yeah. And, and like, well... And if you average it out, it's going to tank the average. Yeah. So, like, that's why I'm a little cautious with this card. Okay. But depending on what your number is, it might make sense anyways. Um, that's why, like, again, I'm asking for, like, your opinion on yeah, your so stuff here. How would you feel about, like, 120 for it? Still enough. Yeah, enough yeah, yeah. So, it. let's see. Did you have, I mean, I can look these up if you want. I kind of told you where I'm at on them. Uh, if you want to do 50 for all of them, I was going to give you a little bit more. No, 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 we could do, uh, yeah, no, definitely. So, okay, so hold on. Let's, how about, let's do, you said what, 120? 120. How about let's call this stack 120, 120, 120. Call this 200. And then, what did I say? I said 350, so 550. 550? Yeah. That leaves me, again, I got a shop yeah, in Rhode Island, so it, it gives me room, cash in your pocket, to uh, go do whatever yeah. with. Would you do six? I'd probably, the best I would probably do is probably like 560. 560? Only because of, obviously, the concerns with that. Yeah. And my concerns with selling Jalen Green. Jaylen Green. I don't, I don't sell, I don't sell on eBay. I just do it straight to the shop. Okay. So 560 works. 560 works. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah, man. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Picked up a big deal here. Some good value. 
Again, I'll save them for the pickups, but I do want to show you guys one card. Nice Justin Herbert, Spectra RPA. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus. There we go. Out of 75, beautiful looking card. The pickup video for this show is going to be crazy. This is exactly the kind of wheeling dealing that I've been wanting to do today, this weekend. I'm happy to get a bunch of cool stuff here. Nice stack right here for the shop. So show is going crazy and I think we're not even an hour in. Another crazy day here at Mohegan for the EC3 Con. People going through bargain boxes, people looking at case cards, selling a ton of blasters. Only got two Funkos left, a little behind the scenes stuff. Here's our little table storage area but yeah look at the madness that it is here at mohegan for day two saturday sunday doesn't matter it's still a crazy crazy day the aisles are filling up immensely again this is storage for vendors guys so that's open for a reason but the aisles are packed this is the reason why i love the show so much it's tons of collectors buying a lot of people are trying to sell today i'm buying myself so for those looking to obviously offload cards come to me merck's card town and it's just an insane experience kids picking up cards adults picking up cards a true wholesome hobby experience here this weekend all right so we just traded away a cj stroud auto i wish i got a picture of it i didn't grab one but we picked up a charizard four and a half hopefully it'll focus focus good enough uh, it's a beautiful looking card. I, it's my third Charizard, fourth Charizard maybe, so a nice little Charizard collection growing. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Happy to work on the pricing of things. Buying two? I'll take a look. Oh, I love the CGC slabs. Did you just get a submission back? Yeah. No stage error. What's the no stage error? You see how there's it's, there's a stage not printed there? Oh. Uh, what? I gotta like look at a different one. Stage one, wait. Right here. You see how it's a stage there? Yeah. Oh, put Blastoise on the card. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, that's actually really cool. Now, I know errors are pretty much what someone's willing to pay for. Like, what do you value something like this at? I mean, I wanna... now I'm just selling for like 900. Yep. Wow. I was looking to get like 12 to 1100. That's nuts. I'll probably pass on these, but thank you though. So I just traded away this Justin Jefferson auto for a bunch of stuff. Not gonna reveal anything because, you know, I want you to watch the pickup video. But finally, the Justin Jefferson card is out the door, actually going to a buddy of mine, uh, Mike, as you guys know. So this card is off the table. These cards are now available. I'm actually gonna show it to somebody right now. So here you go, Bell. I had to add a little bit of cash to get this stuff. I forgot to mention that in the previous clip. Buying and trading on top of selling as you guys as you guys know. Can you just hold it up for me? Like hold it up. Thank you. Right there, right there. I can't see. I know, I know. I completely forgot you couldn't see. All right, so I have my brother holding the camera. Sorry for that, but taking a page out of Ricky Rip's playbook, picking up a nice James Wood out of 50 card. We talk about him all the time on Hobby Talk. That's his outgoing take every time. The kid had this for 10 bucks. I offered five. He said he, he took it. Clearly, he didn't see the massive home run he hit yesterday uh, during spring training. But happy to have a nice James Wood here at the shop. If you want to take a look at it, let me know. What's, nice little Justin Herbert Spectra RPA out of 75. Ask your dad to buy you a 10. Joe, you want to buy Joe a 10? You buying a 10? No, you don't do Pokemon. No, no, no. Joe? Oh yeah, was he? Oh, he just came over here. And walked away. Oh, okay. Literally all he did. Ooh, that is sharp. Double jersey number. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Wow. Jealous. Yeah. That is a crazy Double card. Jersey. Double jersey. 16 and 16. This is what you're asking? Yes. Okay. Hey, get that. I do 350 PayPal. If you want. PayPal, I'm gonna lose fees on it. I probably wouldn't come down there. Like I said, I just got it today. Thank you. Yep. Did you just pick that up? I did earlier today. I was gonna say, I haven't. I'm not nah, I, I, I had some gaps, so I needed to put in some of the stuff I picked up today. If you guys have questions, let me know. Oh, Need anything? What are you looking at? That one, I'll take a peek for you. Right. Uh, uh, let me take a look. We got a Primate first edition PSA 9, right? First edition? Yeah. I don't know how much. I'd, I'd probably come down to 25 trade value wise on it. Like 20. Uh, let me just take a peek at it. Regolecki. Yeah. I'm doing a challenge against my friend. The, oh, I, I'd like to try to help, but I'll I'll try. This is about 22. I don't think I'd probably trade it for that. Um, yeah, let me take a peek. So this is what, 20? Yeah, probably just the Pikachu. Oh, 
I know there was a okay. All right, picked up a nice lot, a couple of nice cards here. I mean, this is like a $30, $40 card itself. I thought it was going to be like 20 These will definitely be either be mystery back contenders or I might try to sell this as it is. But this is the one I really want to highlight here. Nice laundry tag. Look at that, four of five. Let's zoom in, see if it focuses. Four of five. Beautiful looking card. I struggle to sell Olave at the shop, but when you have a card like this, this looks that good. Tough to pass up on. This show is going absolutely crazy. I mean, for a Sunday, I think the foot traffic is just as good as it was yesterday. And typically Sundays on two-day shows are slower, just because, you know, people oftentimes will save Sundays for like family occasions, you know, hanging out, resting, recharging for the work week ahead. But today's uh, show, this Sunday, been absolutely crazy, just as busy as yesterday. I, would, I was going to say uh, maybe more, but I wouldn't go that far. The amount of volume, I think, was just a, was better yesterday, but I think the sales today are better here on Sunday, which is crazy because it's a Sunday. I know I just kind of talked about it, but the Sunday show, absolutely crazy. I just want to make it known to everybody watching this video that I'm borrowing the sign saying we are buying today. People were asking me yesterday, I was only looking to trade and sell, but today we are buying. And from this video and what you're watching so far, I'm sure you could tell. I got a YouTube channel for the shop, so that's what I like to do. This is right there, it's all the info. Do people buy Lamello still, or are we done with that? Jaw, oh, same thing. Question, man. I mean, Jaw, up. same thing. Do we you look him up? It's like $24 for the Oh, right. God. I'll look up the D book. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'll look it up. I'll look up the K. Doesn't hurt to look him up. I created that one myself, too. Oh, so you're into these for cheaper. <laughs> It's a super low pop. I just took alt value on it. Yeah. The last, there wasn't any recent sales on it. Yeah. So, I mean, ultimately, is it worth 134? Maybe, maybe not, but there's just no yeah. recent sales. So I just. I saw like a, what is it, a three something one on there somewhere. That could have been yeah. a long time ago, yeah. but. All right, I'm, I'm all set. But well, thank you. Yep. Sorry to, I don't mean to waste your time. No, have a good one. What's up, man? Are you interested in higher end Japanese CDC 10 trainers? I mean, I'd trade for him, sure. I'll take a look if you want. Sure. Let me see. Pop 1, Pop 6. What is that? Pristine is Pop 1, and then Gemini is Pop 6. So what do you value them at? Um, 1250 each, so... Holy total. Yeah, that's definitely out of the range of my personnel that I deal with. Right. I got a shop in Rhode Island, and no one's spending near that much, unfortunately. Okay. Got it. Until I sell this Garatina for 1000 then I'll let you know. All right, it is that brutal time, the end of the show, pack everything up. See, we're packing things up here. Table's starting to get empty again. Shelving's all empty. Boxes are getting loaded. It's so fun and exciting to set up, but it is just as just tiresome and again, depressing to break it all down after a great successful show here at the EC3Con at Mohegan Sun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos that are to come from this show. Very excited to bring you day one and day two. Hopefully again, you enjoyed these videos and if you did, please make sure you smash the thumbs up button, comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new or haven't considered subscribing. That is going to do it for this one. I'm gonna cue an excellent video right here for you guys that I do believe is gonna be excellent for your hobby endeavors. Hopefully I'll see you in that one.